on it is a northern gamer here and this is a tutorial I told you I was going to do which is on park control and it is how to get all of your uh, cores working so your PC runs smoother better and you can do better stuff like for instance now I can run I'm a free all this life full graphics and record at the same time no lag win before I could barely run it on low um, it is legit um, I can promise you that uh, so yeah just I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, what you first need to do you don't want any then, but what you first need to do is come to this site right here. I'll put a link in the description and all you have to do is download, download power control which is right there. Yeah, that one there. Uh, sorry about this, but I've got my push to talk button as the uh, middle scroll finger, so it's doing this. But still, anyway, to download that right there, click that, and your download will start. Right there, it's started. So all you got to do is click open window. And just minimize that and wait for it to download. So that should come up in any minute. There we go. Just like run. It won't ask you to download anything else, it shouldn't do anywhere, but I doubt it will. It didn't ask me to. So just download. Open that right here. Now you get to this screen. Now, now what it will be is it'll be unbalanced. That one there, it'll be unbalanced. It'll be unbalanced, they'll all be enabled, and you should have something like that depending on your PC settings. And up there it'll say using two or four cores if you've got four and it'll say like 1.8 out of 360. All you have to do is click on that, click on high performance, and they won't all automatically change. I mean this frequency scale and AC did change for me. <coughs> but the other three didn't. So what you want to do is just disable click disable on all of them, put them all to 100 percent click apply. The new signs have been applied. Yeah, and all you want to do is come down, go down to OK, click it, and all of them will be doing them all. Um, what I will actually do as well, which I'll add on to the end of this, is actually put it back to the original settings and do it again just to show you that it works and you know it's it's legit and whatnot. Uh, so I'll do that now. Right, guys, as you can see, when I just load part control up, it does say. Well, it keeps changing to three of four cores, but it does say two of four cores. Um, for some reason, it still says I'm using 3.60 gigahertz per second, uh, but that isn't right. I don't know why that hasn't changed. Um, maybe it's because it's still switching between. I'm not too sure, but it is using a lot less than that. It's using about 1.50, uh, 1 1 1.80 gigahertz per second. So as you can tell, it's a big drop. Um, and if I were to leave my settings like this. I could still only run Arma 3 on low and it'd lag and I can't even record or it just shuts down. You know, you know drill. So what you wanna do, I'll just show you it works. Click high performance, it'll already be there. You wanna click make active so it change changes up there by the current system power status. And then all of these, apart from frequency scaling AC, will still be enabled, depending what type of system you have. You wanna click disable for all of these and put the sliders up to one hundred percent. However, the frequency AC that I'll have to already be disabled and should be at 100% anyway. So you want to click Make Active, like I said, and once you've done that, you want to click Apply. And once you've applied that, it might take a little while, but just close it down, wait a few minutes, and that will go to four or four cores, and you'll be using preferably the full amount. Um, just click OK, load your game up, and your jobs are good. It'll all work. If you have any questions for me guys, just put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible and hopefully help you guys through it if you struggle in any way. Alright, just watching guys.